the nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then we'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment, OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Hey there, everybody, <clears throat> and welcome to Metal Gear Solid. I've been in the urge to replay these games, so I got the HD collection on PC, and oh boy, I honestly excited to play this. It's been so long. Radar off, normal, easy. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's just do. We really want to do hard. We'll do normal, we'll do normal, hard, another time. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. 
The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Let's do this. First things first, going in the water, there's an item right there. Touch a puddle. All right, I want that elevator to come down. If I remember correctly, the elevator has to come down with a soldier on it. So I'm gonna be sneaky as a snake. Okay. Yeah, it's still coming down. Oh. There's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You better hide somewhere. Understood, Colonel. I could strangle a guy. Yeah, because you can do grab, and I can melee if I absolutely need to, because I have nothing. Come on. Where's that elevator? Uh-oh. Come on. Nope. Damn it. Alright, alright, alright. Please go right. Okay, he is. I'm gonna wait here. I'm waiting for everyone to do the rotations again. Rotations, people. I am sneaky. You have no one. Finally. Damn it. No. Oh dear. This is bad. Okay. Beautiful. Not caught. That was close. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? 
I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. <laughs> by the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. He's right. <sighs> All right. And I want to play this. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. 
Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? I might go that way. There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Alright. I'm to metal the gear. Alright, I immediately am gonna probably want that. That thing is... That was short. Good job, me. You know what? We're already here. Oh yeah, there's no dodge in this game, is there? Oh, it's only a chaff grenade? I, I'm dying for a chaff grenade? No, I refuse to die for a chaff grenade. I thought it was something else. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> We're not going there. Grenades are not worth getting caught for. I thought it was something else, but I might be thinking of Twin Snakes, which is the remake, remaster, we want to call it. Oh, that scared me. Huh? Whose footprints are these? Move, 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 move. Oh, I wasn't expecting to get the SOCOM. That's how you get it. A surveillance camera? base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there you somewhere. You don't say. They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that, too. You're not gonna believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hind D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That hind will be coming back soon. I mean, I planned on it, and then you decided to call me. You know what? I'm in. I tried to get in stealthily, but Snake decided to go against the wall. Oh, well. This isn't going to be a perfect playthrough, we all know that. All the rats. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Those mice are Alaskan field mice. Don't worry. They can't hurt you. Wild field mice don't have a thick layer of fat, but they can still survive the bitter winters here without hibernating. They dig tunnels under the snow, 
That's where they stay warm. Survival specialists, huh? I should learn from them. But there's a dark side, too. Sometimes, the males will kill and eat offspring that's not their own. To ensure the survival of their own genes, right? Yeah. Pretty brilliant program, huh? If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. Sure thing, man. Me. Was it master? Master. Actually, let's see what Campbell says. Snake, when you enter a narrow space, you'll automatically go into intrusion mode. Press up on the directional button to go forward and down to retreat backwards. You can also press right or left to face either direction. Advance while hiding yourself, pay attention to the enemy's actions, and make sure you're not discovered. Too late. But be careful. You can't attack while you're in intrusion mode either. And even if you go into intrusion mode while you're being chased, the enemy's grenades will still follow you. Snake, first you've got to find the DARPA chief. Look for clues. Okay. I'll save when I get out of here. Oh, water. I'm coming for your rats. You better move. I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat you. Oh yeah, we're almost at the exit. the other way not that way I have no idea where you are now I still don't know where you are go that way thank you use the elevator to change floors there should be a cargo elevator that you can take down yes, somewhere sir. around there try to find it I'm also gonna call Mei Ling, so it's time for me to save the first time. What can I do for you, Snake? I would like to save. Flux storage. Um. Snake, remember what the girl said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight whenever you can. You're right. Wow, you know all sorts of great quotes, don't you? <laughs> well, both my parents are from Guangdong, China, but I was born and raised in America. I've always liked reading literature from both sides. Kind of keeps me in touch. I'll share some more quotes with you if you like. I'm looking forward to it. But to tell you the truth, I'd like to learn more about you. <laughs> well, I'll think about it. Oh, snakey snake. Hitting on the chicks. Oh no, that's not good. I think it's B1. My goal today is to get to the DARPA chief. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Good. You've got yourself a weapon. To use it, first hold down the R2 button to enter weapon mode. Then select the weapon you want with the directional button. After you've selected the weapon you want, let go of the R2 button to exit weapon mode. The weapon you selected should appear in your hand. To use the weapon, follow the directions displayed in the window. If you use the R1 button, you can equip your weapon more quickly. While you're barehanded, 
Press the R1 button to equip the last weapon you used. Press the R1 button while you're holding a weapon to be barehanded again. Don't fire your gun needlessly, or you might be discovered. If you had a gun with a suppressor, it would be a different story. If you have any questions about weapons or equipment, you should ask our military analyst, Nastasha. Her frequency is 141.52. Oh, got another number. Nice. 141.52. All right, let's get out of here. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the colonel mentioned? That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the nuclear emergency search team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. Ooh. And now her number's there. Good. Now if I equip this, does that mean she'll tell me about SOCOM? Harasha. Yep. Good. You found a SOCOM. That's a Special Operations Command pistol. It's a 45 caliber pistol with plenty of stopping power. It's also equipped with a LAM for nighttime combat. If you hold down the weapon button, you can train the laser sight on the enemy to help you aim. If you find a SOCOM suppressor, you can equip that too. That pistol was designed specifically for use by special forces, so I think it will be useful. Some people find it a little heavy and hard to use, but it shouldn't be a problem for you. Oh, thank you. Keep forgetting this game doesn't have a roll. It's so weird. I keep wanting the roll. Oh. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Sir, yes, sir. I wonder if there's any rations up here. Ooh. Ugh, kind of damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. Almost full and so calm ammo. Hey, the head say, but I'm not here for a woman, I'm here for the DARPA chief. She's just, oh. Snake, the DARPA chief's signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first-person view mode. Yes, sir. Oh. Who's 
Пожалуйста! I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How did they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be... You knew? You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They've probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? Hmm. But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. There is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen. You need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay. Three card keys. 
Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pad card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? He just went in cardiac arrest. Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. That's not good, though. Oh. Wait, what's going on? Oh, I know you're over there. To the right, Snake, not the left. The trap. <laughs> So you killed the chief, you bastard. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here! Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What uh -oh. are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! Nope. Well, let's put my ration on and let's get ready to win. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie! You're a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! Oh, well, at least she shot. 
First blood. Thank you. I actually appreciate the lady who I don't know your name of yet, but I do know. Ooh. There we go. Good job. Why did I cr I need to stop doing that. I so desperately want to go. the controls again thanks for the help wait nice. who are you <laughs> you fool you've killed him I'm sorry sir his mental shielding was very strong I could not dive into his mind now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. Hmm. <laughs> Mantis. Good girl, just like that. Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nano machines? No, Snake. The nano machines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Hmm. Can't go back in there. So there's nothing over here for me anymore. God, well, I would love an M9. Oh wait, do I have to... No, okay. Oh, I can go back in here. I'm trying to remember if I can drag bodies in this one or not. A SOCOM bullet, I'll take, because I am absolutely desperate. Okay. Okay, let's go, 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 go. Now the DARPA chief's dead. Mm. He didn't like mm. his reaction though when we told him there was no backup and the Pentagon wasn't doing anything didn't make him happy either. And that probably set his heart attack off. <laughs> probably had a bad heart. Alright, so they said he's in B1, B2, so we're going to B2. We gotta find a wall that is off color with the rest of the wall. Alright, that was quick, but I have nothing to open you with. Oh, the floor collapses. That's a level four. Ah, oh, level one. Careful. No smoking, eh? You can't tell me what to do.
Okay, so there's no laser lasers in here. Oh, the C4 need nice. All right, let's see what's in the others. All right, it's a level three. I won't be able to open that for a while. Stay close to the wall. Level two, can't do that. Oh, this one's open. More SOCOM bullets. No, okay. Didn't mean to do that. Level one. More C4. Grenades, okay. Oh no, my third starting to itch. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm. When one's sick and still recovering, yeah, it's a bloody pain, but. This is the wall I want. Understood. Also, give me a second. Natasha, I have C4. That is C4 explosive. A plastic explosive with a texture similar to clay. So you can shape it in almost any way you want. Although it has 1.4 times the destructive power of dynamite, it is highly stable and won't explode without a detonating device, even if it is shot, burned, or beaten. You are using a wireless detonator, yes? The detonator is equipped with a scrambler, so you don't have to worry about interference from any other radio source. Make sure you are sufficiently far enough away when it goes off. Also, as you know, the sound of the explosive will alert your enemies, so be careful. Thank you, Natasha. And now, let's talk about these grenades. You found some grenades. Just pull the pin and it explodes after five seconds. You can get a lot done during those five seconds, Snake. How you use them is up to you. Thank you, Natasha. Campbell. The walls that were submitted over should look slightly different. Look at the walls carefully in first-person view mode. Try to find the walls that have a different pattern. Did you try hitting the wall? Maybe it'll sound different, too. Those C4 explosives you've got should be able to destroy the walls that were cemented over. Thank you. And what's Master got to say? Snake, you've got to think. Your mind is your most dangerous weapon. If things are getting too complicated, try to simplify your thoughts. You can also try calling Campbell for advice. All right, now I'm going to call Mei Ling and save. <laughs> you caught Snake? Yes, Mei Ling, I want to save because if anything would happen, I don't want to redo what I did. Man, I've only been playing for 36 minutes in this Snake, game. Listen to what Lo Chi said. He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get yes, it. Yes, it does. If you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it. Oh, yeah, the beginning of the game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh wait, no, it's a grenade. I forgot to switch. Sun grenade. And a chaff grenade, but, oh. Okay, I was wrong. I thought this was the right place, but it's not. Nope, that's a broken wall, but it's the same color as the rest. Oh, wait. This wall?
Okay, I'm gonna avoid that. Okay, that is the last one. Let's go into the hole I made. And what's this, level two door? Level four. Oh yeah, I'm not going in for, for a while. Oh dear. Is that outside? Damn it, I only got one left. I'm going this way. alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry. I'm here to save you. No. No, don't touch it. C4. Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. Oh, well, it's I don't. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Okay, cowboy. Draw! Okay. Move. Don't. No. That's one. I didn't want help you. I understand. Last. 
I wonder if a stun grenade will have effect him. Don't you want to settle this? After the fall of the Soviet Union, he apparently served in the Russian tax police's elite SWAT team. After that, he joined the SVR, the Russian Foreign Intelligence Agency, which was formerly a part of the KGB. But according to my sources, he was dissatisfied with the rigid system of the KGB and wanted to get out. That's when he was recruited by Foxhound. He's a gun fanatic and totally obsessed with cowboy movies and spaghetti westerns. He's also something of a sadist. He learned the most advanced torture techniques while he was with Spetsnaz. Yeah, he had plenty of practice. Lubyanka Prison is located right there inside KGB headquarters. In a gunfight, reloading is usually the most dangerous time. But he loves it. Use that to your advantage. You'll have to take him out when he's reloading. Can you see where his number of remaining bullets yeah. is displayed on the screen? Wait for the right moment and then take him out. walked into that. I want to try, but it might harm him, and I do not need that. Baker's health bar is I 
love to reload the doing of that. There's nothing like the feeling of slamming a long silver bullet into a well All right. The light. Let's go. Too, if you stop going away like a coward. Oh, I almost shot Baker. Shoot me. Wait a minute. I just shot Baker. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight, but I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! I love how it shows I have a suppressor on the gun when I don't. Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh. you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. 
You know that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh. Sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the Nuclear Warhead Storage Building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear oh. fuel and plutonium the is increasing today. even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the Military Oversight Committee.
bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> uh. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, no, it can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. So, they, they actually went and did it. What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for... This is not a coincidence. Two people, and very important people, die from a heart what attack. What the hell? Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. I have a feeling she's not telling me the truth. Huh. On top of that, the other guy... Apparently, his mind was, uh... Mind was, uh, messed with so he couldn't get rid by Psycho Mantis. So how did they even get his code then? Hmm. But you wanna know what? I think I've gone on long enough. Wait, I got a level two car key, right? I'm gonna open up these level two, this level two door, and then I'm gonna call it. <clears throat> Careful. That's what I was afraid of. One second, I need a smoke. So I got FAMAS. Press X to fire and hold it for full auto. 
never ever full auto. <laughs> Whoops, did me do that? The DARPA chief and President Baker. So now the terrorists know both detonation codes. Yeah, and on top of that, they both died right in front of my eyes. Snake, now that the terrorists have both detonation codes, the only way to stop a nuclear launch is to either use the detonation code release keys that Merrill's holding, or... Or find the Metal Gear chief engineer that President Baker mentioned, Hal Emmerich. In any case, you should contact Merrill by codec. Wasn't her frequency written on the back of the CD case? Also, since I got a new weapon, Natasha. That is a FAMAS. It is a bullpup style assault rifle. It is durable and easy to use. Very resistant to overheating. It is a reliable weapon with smooth action. It can fire up to 1,000 rounds per minute. On full auto, you will empty a 25 round magazine in a few seconds. All right, in other words, do not shoot it on full auto. There's a guy right there. All right, now I'm gonna save and call it. What's up, Snake? Snake, like Shakespeare said, knots had all spent, while our desire is got without content. Basically, it means that your desire can get you into trouble if you're not careful. That goes for items, too. Don't get too greedy or you might be sorry. Be careful, Snake. Okay, I'm sorry about the beginning of the game. I was... I failed. But, hey, whatever. I'll see you guys next time, and bye.